Alright guys, so today we're gonna be doing a tattoo flash on Procreate. Right now I'm using a um, it's a brush from Tattoo Smart. It's a 14 round, round liner on a sketch that I did on it's a it's like a paper a watercolor paper. I grab it from Pinterest and I put it on on the bottom layer I click on multiply on the top layer that way it mix together right now when I'm doing these uh, leaves I'm gonna duplicate them that way I don't have to go over again and that way they look even I'm doing this uh, type of design that way I can show you guys how to go fast on a client. I'm actually I'm doing this in front of a client that way uh, I can show them how it's gonna look. They love it and they uh, they already buy it. They want to get it done right away. If you do that in front of them. And actually you can go and take a picture of the area that they want to get a tattoo and put it on the bottom like the background like you see on this uh, watercolor paper and show them how it's gonna look at the end what that is gonna do is gonna sell you that tattoo right away they want they, they will have that image on their brain so they will want it right away The purpose of these uh, videos that I'll be doing is to show you guys how to go faster on the design of every tattoo and how to get profit faster. This this is all, all, all we're doing. We're, we're, we're doing this because we want to make more money. Um, for example, right now I just went with the crop uh, tool on that pedal that way I don't um, paint on the other side so I can pick a bigger brush or make my brush bigger that way I can go faster same thing I want I want a fast design that way I can save more time on preparing this uh, tattoo design that way I can go and make that money fast so if you whenever you see I'm going and zooming in and summing summing out is because I want to have a perspective of, of how it looks so as you see here what I did is I opened a few layers on one of the layers I did the shading on the other one I picked the, the, the color that I want to put on top of it that way it looked transparent and I can see through the, the layers all what I'm doing on here I didn't like it so I'm tapping with my two fingers and going back that's the undo so I'm going back to see um, to see uh, I actually I diminished that black to a um, kind of a crimson red very dark like a plum red That way I can see through and I can add more shape on the edges of the pedal if you see that's every stroke that I'm going and building up a layer on top of it and that's in only one of the layers on on the on the procreate uh, program that's why I like that uh, that brush because it gives you that look and it, it lets you build up uh, the color so it, it looks just like watercolor if you ever done uh, an actual watercolor painting it will react almost the same so I'm gonna be creating a, a few uh, videos hopefully uh, pretty soon that way we can go and make it a uh, more uh, you know more intense 
We're gonna go over a few different type of designs. I like traditional, I respect the traditional tattoo designs. I think they are more graphic. I do sometimes some realistic work, but the most uh, enjoyable, in my opinion, is a traditional tattoo with coil machine for sure. So if you see I'm not following uh, on, on every petal the same shape of shading and coloring because I want to have fun. I want to see every uh, every different aspect. If I don't like some of the petal, how it looks, I'm gonna change it or probably I'll go and make it all even on the tattoo. But right here, I'm just uh, trying to see different ways how I'm gonna do it or how it can be done. That's why if you pay attention on every uh, petal, they are all different shapes. And on, on reality, if you pay attention on every, uh, if you see a rose, like a picture or on the reality, you will see that they are all different shapes on every petal. So if it looks good, I like it, look bright, look solid, I will go for it. I don't I don't like rules, so I do follow rules. For example, on the skin, there's some type of skins that you know you can't do some some things, but you know what I mean. So in order to create a, a contrast, I like to go on and create. I use a lot of black on my tattoos. That way it looks solid, makes a brighter look. And whenever you're going on dark skins, you're gonna have to. You be, you need to lose that that fear of of going on, on too dark. You need to first practice and and do at least five sketches to know how it's gonna look. That's what. That's why I'm I'm. I'm, I'm very stoked with this Procreate uh, program because it, m it makes my, my, my life way so easier. And on, on selling uh, your services, whenever you have a client or walk in that doesn't know what you do, if you do this in front of him, he will love it and, and you will sell your, yourself right away, super fast. So I'm picking this green over here, that way it makes the uh, same thing, contrast. Probably on the skin, I wouldn't use that green. Probably I'll go with a more muted one. But like I said, this is just to have fun, showing you guys how to go faster on the on creating a tattoo design. In reality, this design took me about um, 12, 15 minutes starting from scratch I'm talking about going from the sketch from zero to the end of this tattoo flash I like that gold probably I'll go with it probably on the skin it w I will use a uh, on ochre or uh, kind of like a muted, uh, muted uh, yellow, or probably a golden yellow, leaving that space probably. It's all it all depends. Probably if you have um, experience tattooing, you will see um, every everyone has a, a different uh, colors that they like. And, that's what it is and I know I didn't like it neither that last color I didn't like